Hello guys, John here. I have to take some months off to refresh myself and I'm now back to give a bit of an update on how things have been. So as of recently, I'm no longer partnered with Crytek and I won't be playing or covering any more content for Hunt Showdown. In this video, I will explain how and why it came to this after spending thousands of hours on the game. First of all, if you were a follower of this channel in the past uh, year or two, you would have known how much passion I've had for this game, but unfortunately, I experienced a major burnout on the game ever since summertime, and my tolerance for all the frustrating mechanics and the server performance reached an all-time low. I even tried taking 3 months off and came back only to experience the same frustrating stuff. I've tried giving feedback or making videos about the issues, but the reaction I've received in return was not really pleasant. So I've decided to move on from the game and call it a night. Unfortunately, there are stuff that I can't talk about to give you a fully transparent image of what happened in the partnership. I have signed a 9 disclosure agreement when I became a partner and I'm going to respect that, which disables me to do such thing. So I just have to take those stuff in like a man and accept that I can't really talk to anyone about it. I gave it some weeks to cool off and decided that sharing any details won't really bring me any good and it will cause a lot of unintended damage. So I thought at the end of the day, I won't play the game anymore, so why would I even bother with the trouble? I did however, decide to make this video as a farewell to the Hunt community and those who were here for the journey, both on console and PC version of the game. I would like to thank you all for being here during the ride. So getting back to why my passion was sucked dry for the game and why I decided to let it go for good. First of all, I've realized that the game is a much changed product comparing to what I paid for about two years ago. When I started playing this game, I came from a much more casual game, Red Dead Online. I saw the hardcore elements of Hunt, and I saw how intense the bolt action rifle gameplay was, and of course, I wanted a piece of the action. Ever since then, the developers gradually turned the game into a much more casual experience, with a lot of the elements that I basically ran away from. I'm talking about Red Dead here. There was no dual wielding back then, not so much spamming weapons as now. I don't remember spending countless hours to improve my aim and reaction time, only for a new player to join a quick play game and to bukkake me with his dual wielding pistols and get a lucky headshot from 50 meters away. This stuff were just not in the game before. There were no millions of different explosive bullets and AC-130s, and there was not so much RNG and server delays in close range fights. There were no skill based matchmaking when I started playing this game, and the gameplay used to be a lot more dynamic than now. I just think the game is not offering the same experience compared to two years ago. It's very much different and I don't think I have to like it anymore. Maybe some people prefer the current version and it's totally fine. They should continue playing what they please and what they enjoy. I'm not trying to discourage anyone from playing the game. I could cope with some of the changes in the past two years, but adding the trade kills was pretty much the final nail in the coffin for me. Unfortunately, my sense of copium was finally sucked off and spat out by some certain people. Especially because after I made the video about the delayed trades, Crytek uploaded a video showing a perfect example of why the trades are so good for the game by showcasing two guys living in Frankfurt in the same city as the servers with like 10 ping to shoot each other in the face at the same time. What they refuse to acknowledge and address or to show you is a reality. When a guy from a totally different region joins your server with 300 ping and kills you two seconds after you have killed him. I didn't find this acceptable or transparent at all. I guess it's like going to your favorite restaurant for years and suddenly they make some major changes to their recipes. If you don't like the changes, it's probably just best to move on. You can of course give feedback to the chef, but if the chef is pretending to be asleep or just doesn't care, you're just wasting your time and energy. And also at the end of the day, a business owner can do whatever he wants with his business, whether you agree with him or not. And finally, stale gameplay, repetitive content and in-game events. Doesn't matter how good or bad a game is, at some point it's going to become repetitive and boring. That limit is different for everyone. Maybe for someone that's about 500 hours and some other player can play the same game for 10,000 hours and still enjoy it. After nearly 3000 hours, combined on PC and PlayStation 4, I think it's just time to move on to something different, 
to refresh gaming for myself. I got tired of the same stuff over and over again and the in-game events started to feel pretty pointless to me. It was always the same thing, smash the statues or the pumpkins for event points until you unlock some in-game item. Gotta admit that we lost a bit of a creativity there when it came to new additions and game modes. The gameplay at top elo also became so stale, lost its uniqueness ever since their skill based matchmaking. It's always about Jimmy sitting in bushes with his Mosin sniper 300 meters away and never pushing the objective or Timmy sitting inside the building in his Constantina castle with shotgun while he's watching grannies and trannies on his second monitor. And the fact that the trades made the close range fight so predictable made the gameplay so boring for me. As I already knew the result before pushing, it made solo play totally pointless. Hello. So, I gave you a piece of my mind, and now how about we stop with all the negative stuff and finish up with some cheerful footage. It's good to know that I did have a lot of fun in Hunt when it wasn't frustrating for me, and I would like to share those moments with you. I thank you so much for being here, and I hope you enjoy these clips. Oh, 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 <laughs> you like glory holes? <sighs> Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We're playing fucking Red Dead with dynamite bows. Uh, dynamite arrow, baby. Yo, make make horse noises and then vault over. What? Make make horse noises as well. Not, it's not that special, but I'll show you. <laughs> that was so stupid. Throwing flashbang. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, imagine getting like a collateral headshot, dude. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Look at him. He's, re he's rezzing again. I wanna beat your ass. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god. This guy. I wanted to call him dog shit, but I felt bad. As you know, we've all had like shitty moments like that. He was up there. Oh. He just closed the window. Or there's oh, a third one too, right? Taken. No, I don't think so. He has a dodge though. I'm gonna flash him. Fuck his... 
can't flash. Oh my god. He goes too. What? No, too dangerous. Too dangerous. Behind you, behind you. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god, this is a fake. <laughs> Filthy campers. Disgusting! Disgusting! He's up there, isn't he? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my Jesus! Apple, what's up? Oh my god. 100% intended.